Hello, Zachy, my beautiful husband. What are we doing today? Are you sure you don't want to do selfie mode? Do you not want to be in the video? No, this is all about you, baby. Okay, so um, here we are on Archive of Our Own. This is a, 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 a Teen Wolf Derek and Styles um, fan fiction. Fan fiction? Okay. It's called Silk. By Dirty Knots. Here we go. We ready? Oh my! Have goodness. you ever read this before? No, I've. This is the first you're this hearing is of this. A f a blind react right now. Okay. Here okay. we go. Okay. Um. All right. It's kind of small. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. The text is a little small. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, this is just, like, my reaction to the fan fiction, in case the author ever sees this. Or like, as you're reading it. Like, I don't read fan fiction. My wife does. <laughs> and I'm not, like, trying to put you down. <laughs> but I'm just giving my genuine reaction to the, this. Is to more, this is more of a, you live under a fan fiction rock. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the gateway here. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, all right. So. Silk so, by Dirty Knots. Silk by Dirty Knots. <sighs> Styles knew he had trouble with boundaries. It wasn't exactly news to him, okay? And because of that, he's definitely walked on things he wasn't meant to see, that he didn't want to see. This was the polar opposite of that. Well, he's fairly certain he wasn't meant to see it, but he most definitely was not sorry for having seen it. Because Derek was standing in front of a full-length mirror, and where did that even come from? And that wouldn't be, like, a big issue except for what he was wearing. Because Derek was in a silky black thing, his utterly perfect ass on display. <laughs> he was in the process of attempting to lace himself into an equally silky black corset. Styles is pretty sure his brain is experiencing a crash, a la the blue loading screen of death, because he's fairly certain that someone is yelling and that he's just standing there, staring. <laughs> Probably with his mouth open. Possibly with drool... <laughs> Possibly with drool starting to slip out of it. Actually, he's definitely sure someone is yelling, but it's like his ears are stuffed with cotton because all he can focus on is the beautiful pink flush that's creeping over more of Derek's tanned body than he's ever seen on display. <laughs> and the way the muscles are rippling under his skin as they bunch while he turns in the absolutely <laughs> brain-melting sight of Derek's cock and balls <laughs> straining against the front of the panties <laughs> Yes, one. And he turns and starts to stalk forward. Styles can't even begin to stop his eyes from watching the shift of Derek's junk as he moves. Do you need a hand? The words are out, and it takes a minute for Styles to even realize it was him that spoke. He only figures it out when Derek stops moving, and Styles can finally drag his gaze up to see Derek's face. Chiseled jaw shaved smooth for the first time in a while. Anger warring with confusion is in his expression. What? A hand. Like, help. Do you need some? To lace that up? <laughs> Styles has no idea how his voice is coming out so steady, because inside it's like every alert bell in his body is clanging. Warnings and danger and arousal so strong... He is surprised he even has room for other feelings all fighting and churning inside of him. He's honestly surprised when Derek blows out a breath and turns to walk back towards the mirror. Okay, Derek's voice is weirdly sedate, but Styles isn't going to question it. Just walks over and stands behind Derek for a minute, making sure his hands aren't shaking before he reaches for the laces. He tightens just enough to hope he's got the right amount of slack for a bow when Derek makes a noise in his throat. Something wrong? Derek shakes his head a little at the question. Makes another noise that sounds suspiciously like a snort. If Styles thought Derek was capable of doing anything so inelegant, he waits, because none of that was an answer. 
and eventually he hears the click of Derek's throat as he swallows tighter. <laughs> oh, okay. Styles sets about pulling on the laces, starting at the top and working his way down, tightening them as much as he can, trying to ignore the slight jiggle of Derek's ass cheeks each time he <laughs> yanks on them. When he's back down to the slack, it's grown significantly. He holds it tight before opening his mouth. Better? E enough? Derek shakes his head, turns so he can catch Styles out of the corner of his eye. Tighter. <laughs> Okay, I um, don't know how much more I can pull, but I'll try. Before Styles can shift his grip again, Derek is leaning sideways, reaching for a chair Styles hadn't noticed and pulling it in front of himself. Styles only gets another moment of confusion before Derek is bending nearly in half, hands gripping the edges of the seat. Styles maybe loses his grip on the laces for just a moment because he's had fantasies that definitely included a similar position. Styles! Derek barking his name is enough for him to at least tighten his grip again before he loses the lace completely. Though, he can see that the corset has loosened significantly and he can feel himself blush faintly because of his inattention. Focus. Yeah, focus, right. Styles takes a breath and tries to refocus. Fuck, that is hard with Derek's ass sticking out like that. Cheeks spread a little from his stance. Showing Styles a bit of the thong's materials that sits between those cheeks. The thing is, he has to get closer now because the top of the corset is much further away than it was. And that means he has to practically plaster himself against Derek to reach the top of the lacing. There's less than half an inch of space between their bodies and Styles finally thinks that maybe he's not actually going to be able to do this. He tries anyhow. On the first pass... He gets back to the tightness it was before he completely distracted by ben Derek bending over for him. <sighs> but he knows that isn't as tight as Derek wants it. So he leans over him again. The ends of the lace is wrapped around one hand to keep it from loosening, but he can't quite get the grip. He needs to pull it tighter. Not with the angle he's trying to bend at. No support. He's going to have to press himself against Derek. That's going to open the biggest can of embarrassing worms in existence. Uh-oh, I think Styles has a bloater. <laughs> because there's going to be no hiding how much he's enjoyed all of this since the moment he barged into Derek's room unexpectedly. <laughs> I think I called it. <laughs> Who could have guessed? But Derek is standing there bent over at what has to be an uncomfortable angle, waiting patiently because Styles offered to help him. So he's got to at least try to get it right, even if he'll never be able to look at Derek again when the man realizes how hard, style, hard up Styles is for him. Even with him in lace panties and a corset, maybe especially with him in them. Just, uh, I, I need to. Styles gives up trying to explain his intentions when words fail, words fail him, which, rude, he's always got words, especially in awkward situations, even if they don't always help. And instead, he just shifts that last bit closer, erasing the distance between their bodies and using Derek's help to balance and support him as he leans over to try tightening the lacing as much as possible. Sorry. The apology is soft. Just comes out just as soon as his crotch makes contact with Derek's ass. Because he knows that none of this was an invitation for Styles to ogle him or to spill his arousal over Derek. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's worth it when he starts tugging and tightening, seeing how the space between the two sides of the corset shrinks to almost nothing. Derek's breath hitches when Styles gets a few grunts down. Almost feels like he pushes his ass back against Styles' crotch, but that can't be right. <laughs> no, of all the things happening here, that's hard to believe. <laughs> it's a revelation. When Styles reflexively yanks on the laces, Derek shifts back against him again, and Styles thinks he gets it. Runs his free hand up the side of Derek's, over his ribs. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm trying to read it the way it was written. Okay. Just trying to... God. <laughs> he pulls back on the hand holding the laces, keeping the tension in them. As he leans further over until he can speak closer to Derek's ear. 
should have told me what you wanted. I want to give it to you. I just need you to keep being good while I finish tightening you in. Can you do that? Can you be good for me? Styles has no clue where the words come from, but he's rewarded with another full body shudder from Derek. <laughs> Followed by a nod of his head. Good boy. Girl. Derek's voice is almost enough. <laughs> I knew that would get you. <laughs> and Styles is sure he misheard. What was that? He thinks Derek isn't going to answer, but after watching a new flush crawl up Derek's back, he hears him clear his throat, head turning so he can meet Styles' gaze again. His voice comes out much stronger when he clarifies, Girl. I want to be your good girl. Daddy. And holy fuck, mayday, mayday, Styles' cock twitches so Hard after that. <laughs> he thinks it's trying to leave his body. <laughs> but also, holy fuck yes. He pulls hard on the laces, hips grinding forward of their own accord. Cock definitely proving he has less than zero problems with that request. Okay, baby girl, hold still for daddy. Show me how good you are. <laughs> Styles thinks he should feel absolutely stupid as the words come out. <laughs> as he calls Derek baby girl despite his bulk. <laughs> as, as he refers to himself as daddy, even though Derek's got at least six years on him, but all he actually feels is ridiculously turned on. The corset is already nearly laced as tight as it will go, but the last few sections of grommeting take all of his concentration for the next few minutes, and he has to keep the laces from loosening, leaning back and bracing his feet as he pulls it tight. He does his best to ignore the tiny shifts of Derek's hips as he fights the pull against his body, tries to stay still in, p in position. Finally, after what feels like forever, he manages to tie it off right enough that there's no hope of it accidentally coming undone. He takes a minute to shake out his poor right hand, returns some of the feeling to it after he spent so long with the laces wrapped tightly around it while he worked. When the sensation has returned, he uses both hands to pet along Derek's sides. How does it feel? Tight enough? <laughs> Derek doesn't answer, just nods his head a little. It's not enough now for Styles, so he skims his hands further, wraps one over Derek's waist, and slides the other up to grip gently under Derek's chin, <laughs> forcing him to stand and straighten facing the mirror. Styles miraculously doesn't lose his balance when he shifts to one foot so he can hook the other around a chair leg and shove it out of the way, returning his attention forward when he's done and hooking a chin over Derek's shoulder so he can see the reflection in the mirror. <laughs> Say it! Daddy asked you a question. <laughs> How does it feel, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> the dynamic is so flipped here. I'm trying to do Derek and Styles' impressions, but they're... <laughs> Good. Tight enough. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Styles swallows against the sudden burst of arousal and then focuses back on the reflection, sliding one hand over the corset, down over Derek's hip and caressing his thigh. <laughs> I'm trying to do that. He's still when O'Brien's like so frenetic and he like ah bah bah, you know what I mean? But he's like after this like dom. Fuck it's hard to reconcile. You look so beautiful, baby girl. So pretty for daddy. Is that, uh, why you dressed up? <laughs> Wanted to show off? Yes, daddy. Wanted to look good for you. <laughs> it, it should just be a line. 
Derek hadn't shown style, hadn't known Styles was uh, coming over, hadn't been expecting him, even if it doesn't sound like one. Styles lets his fingers trace circles over Derek's thigh, skimming the edge of the panties while he thinks about it. <laughs> because when he does, he remembers just how good Alpha hearing is. How far away he would have been still when the sound of Derek's Jeep hit when the sound of his Jeep hit Derek's ears. More than enough time for him to throw on jeans and a shirt and a jacket to hide hide any bulge from the cor corset. Or even remove it entirely, long before Styles would have been close enough to barge in and surprise Derek. His own breath hitches as he has the thought, and it takes effort to meet Derek's gaze in the mirror. Yeah? <laughs> yes, Daddy. <laughs> Wanted you to see me like this. Derek's eyes don't <laughs> skate away as he speaks, just stay steady and open on Styles's. He can't help the way it makes his heart trip a little in his chest, his throat going dry. <laughs> Der <laughs> Tell me what you want, baby girl. <laughs> want you to fuck me. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay, I thought you were just ad-libbing. <laughs> <laughs> Styles' eyes. Text messages keep blocking the text. Squeeze shut, and his cock throbs in his jeans, hips hitching against Derek's ass before he releases him. Uses a hand on his back to urge him toward the bed. Okay, uh, I, I can do that. <laughs> Styles trips down as he watches Derek crawl up onto the bed onto all fours, legs spreading wide as he drops to his elbows, ass hitched up. Styles step forward once he's naked, hands trailing softly over Derek's cheeks, fingering the material stretched tight between them. Ah, uh, loop. <laughs> Derek reaches under the pillow above him, comes back with a small bottle, but hesitates before passing it back to Styles. Daddy. Yeah, baby girl. <laughs> Will you... <laughs> Say it! <laughs> Will you lick me first, Daddy? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Been, dr <laughs> Been dreaming of your mouth on my pussy. <laughs> Styles clamps a hand around his cock when he pulls his skin lets out a groan at the shyness in Derek's voice. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Styles crawls up behind Derek, grateful the bed is so large, and uses his palms to spread Derek's cheeks further apart. <laughs> <laughs> the thin scrap of material looks obscene against the world hairs outlining Derek's hole in the best way possible. <laughs> You're turning red. Was <laughs> <laughs> it like a kite string over his asshole? <laughs> <laughs> in the best way possible. <sighs> he leans forward and runs his nose up Derek's cleft, letting his tongue dart out to wet the material right over Derek's rim. He repeats the motion a few times before shifting his grip, using a thumb to pull the panties out of the way. <laughs> And give him the first glimpse of Derek's furled hole! <laughs> furled hole! Furled hole! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Don't read ahead, come on! Uh, <laughs> such a pretty pussy, baby girl. So tight and pink. <laughs> Styles runs his nose over the crinkled skin, letting out a soft puff of air from his nostrils. Enjoying the way it makes Derek's whole twitch! Before he brushes his lips over it and lets his tongue unfurl from his mouth. Softly licking over the bunker! <laughs> so 
so delicious, baby girl. <laughs> your your pussy tastes so good. <laughs> Styles licks over Derek's bowl a few more times, making sure he's nice and wet. Before he points his tongue and wriggles him against the tight entrance. <laughs> Pushing him all the way in when Derek relaxes against the intrusion. <laughs> you're 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 laughing so hard it looks like you're crying. <laughs> it will be soon. <laughs> Styles takes the opportunity. To thrust his tongue in and out, mimicking what he plans to do with his cock soon. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. Such a good girl. Opening up for daddy, getting nice and wet. You like it when daddy tongue fucks your pussy, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Derek nods his breath coming out in harsh pants already uh, <laughs> all of this hemming and hawing and sputtering it's not in the fanfic I'm just trying to channel styles here but, um, well, want me to keep licking your pussy or you want me to fill it up with my daddy cock <laughs> Fill me up, Daddy. Please. <laughs> Need it, Styles. <laughs> Been a good girl for you. Want you to fuck me. <laughs> That's all the encouragement Styles needs. And he's popping the cap on the lube and slicking himself up before Derek can even finish speaking. He runs his lubed hand over Derek's hole, admires the glisten, and pushing one finger inside. Happy to see Derek is relaxed enough not to fight the intrusion. And then he's gripping his cock to hold it steady as he slowly pushes in. Watching the way Derek's ass just parts around his meaty cock. <laughs> practically sucking him in like a real pussy would. <laughs> Fuck, baby, you feel so good. I feel like you were made for daddy's cock. <laughs> Was. I'm pussy made for your cock, daddy. <laughs> made to be your cock sleeve. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Made to be your cock sleeve. <laughs> Just wanted to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. What a filthy mouth you have, baby girl. Never knew you were so dirty. Love it. <laughs> Derek's body is rocking back into Styles' as he pounds away, meeting him thrust for thrust. The sound of their skin slapping together loud in the room. <laughs> Wanna be your good girl slut, Daddy. Want you to fill me up, make my pussy creamy. Want everyone to know I'm Daddy's little girl. <laughs> Fuck, baby. Gonna do that. Gonna fill you up with my cum until it's dripping out of your pussy and then just pull your panties back in place. Wanna see them stained with my mess. Want everyone to smell me on you. <laughs> Please, Daddy, do it. Do it! Come on. Come on, come on your cock. Make me squirt, Daddy. <laughs> Styles moans as his pace increases, hips losing their rhythm, and he reaches around and shoves his hand into the front of Derek's panties. <laughs> come on, come on, baby girl, gonna play with your coins. <laughs> <laughs> now say it, say it again. <laughs> come on, baby girl, gonna play with your clit. You see it squirt. <laughs> this is not the first one I've read. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Where it's like Derek's like playing to be a girl. <laughs> like they can't just be gay. Derek has to be a girl. <laughs> Where was I? Is it gonna play with your clit? I want to see it squirt. I'm close. Daddy wants to see you come. Styles doesn't so much stroke Dirk's cock as he fingers it, pinching at the head and rubbing against the slit until Dirk is clenching down around him. <laughs> Practically whining as his cock stiffens and starts pulsing out his release. It's enough to keep Styles over the edge and he's grinding in hard, feeling his own cock spit out his cum deep inside of Derek's ass. Oh my god, we're on the last page. <laughs> page. Not paragraph. Page. Styles is careful when he pulls out, thumb gliding over Derek's reddened rim as he admires the trail of cum that drips down. He watches it roll down Derek's cleft until it gets lost in the hair on his balls. And then he shifts the panties back into place. The material barely covering Derek's hole. And darkening instantly as more cum slips out of his ass. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this back. <laughs> as soon as Styles stops touching him, Derek collapses forward, not seeming to care that he's in the wet spot. Styles crawls up over him, hands skimming over his sides, and sees the way the edges of the corset are digging into Derek's skin. It takes more effort than it should, but Styles manages to get the knots undone with some insistent tugging, ignoring the sound of protest Derek makes, and the shifting like he's going to sit up and begins to unlace the corset. <clears throat> It's too tight to sleep in, even for a werewolf. <laughs> Something in his voice or words takes all the fight out of Derek, and he relaxes down into the mattress. Doesn't fight when the laces are out completely, and Styles tugs the material out from beneath him, leaning to drop it gently off the bed. Come on, up to the pillows. Styles manages, with not too much grumbling, to get Derek's head on a pillow, and slots himself against him. Derek's still mostly on his stomach, so Styles hooks a leg over Derek's, hand sliding down over Derek's ribs, watching the red lines left from the corset fade. He can't help himself when it hits the curve of Derek's ass, follows it down between his cheeks, smirking when Derek pushes up slightly against his fingers as they skim over the now soaked bit of silk, teasingly pushing at where his hole is beneath the material. <laughs> enjoying the way enjoying the way they get even wetter before he gives in and drapes his arm over Derek's waist Styles presses a gentle kiss to the shoulder blade beneath his cheek <clears throat> need to talk about this after our nap fine Styles laughs softly at the grumpy tone but he knows Derek. Derek <coughs> but he knows Derek's right. Styles doesn't want to be this to be a one-off. They're gonna have to figure out what exactly they both want. He's pretty sure neither one of them will be disappointed by the conversation. It's on that happy thought that he closes his eyes and follows Derek into sleep. The end. <laughs> what a beautiful love story. <laughs> it was. It was so gripping. <laughs> like the vice-like asshole on a cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I want you to fuck me, daddy. Uh, okay. 